rosemary. I know you said you could use it with lamb because that sort of surprises me as a herb that will go with fish. You put it next to the peppers, mm. they balance each other. Right. And I'm, I mean, we don't mix and match, but I love rosemary. That to me, when you smell that flavour, I cut up, that to me is my favourite herb, that and flat leaf party. Now I think it's a great combination. Now with your courgettes, you've got this lovely colour now. They're getting a nice roasted colour. Right, so they're done. We're just going to leave them in there. I'm just going to check. Need a few more. Now how not too you're long. checking that? This, this is, a, you know, I want a Michelin chef check it. You're just putting in just to see how how much the spoon goes. Yeah, through. it's basically whether you can if you do that now, yeah. Tom, you can feel there's still texture yeah, there. In there yeah. yeah, so you need to be able to sort of go pretty much through. So it's going to take sort of one more minute. I'm getting oil everywhere here. Fine. What we're going to do is put the crust on now, and we just sprinkle that in. And it doesn't matter if it goes in the oil, because you can serve it with a bit of the oil and it adds a bit of seasoning to it, exactly. This is very, it looks very, very impressive, but actually, the, you know, the, obviously you make it look a lot easier than it probably is. But it, even by my standards, it looks really, really sort of simple to put together. Oh, no, totally. And I do think that, I mean, even from one from a chef's point of view, I don't believe in making more work for yourself than you need to in, yeah. in the service, if you can, things can be done ahead. And also, if you're cooking at home, you know, and everyone says, oh, I never enjoy my parties, because, you, in a way, you make things too complicated. Yeah, yeah, make it sat there have. cooking. You've just added some excess oil that you I put have, because I can feel, literally, that it's drying up yeah. a bit. Because I put there. Now we're just going to put it in the grill for, like, a, a minute or so while we get the courgettes. Look at the mess I make. Jeez. Don't you want to say no. I so messy. Shockingly messy. Right. And now we're just going to serve it with and it, I mean I've done it with these lovely courgettes but you could do it just with um, a little salad or you could do a little um, like a nice even lovely um, warm potato salad I think is always delicious I'll just check that okay my famous spoon okay we'll just take it out now because I can feel it and we're just going to lift beautiful piece of the Okay, oh, caught a little bit there, take that off. And there. Okay, and you can finish it with a touch of just olive oil. That's the chefiness in me, you <laughs> Doing the whole thing. <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> done there, Angela. Exactly. Okay, bon appetit. Bon appetit, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, dig in. Look at that flakes, absolutely perfectly cooked. Well, oh, it's touch and go sometimes. Hmm. Oh. Like that. That's Spain, isn't it? Mm. That evokes Spain. The romesco crust, the contrast of the contrast mm. of textures, the flavours. Oh, I love Spanish food, especially <laughs> when cooked like that. Mm. Absolutely. But the hake has such a good flavour, sweet flavour that isn't crushed by the romesco topping. But no, no, they work so well together. They know what they're doing in Spain. Yeah, they do. That they do. What do you reckon? Oh, beautiful. It's such. A, I mean, I love hake anyway because it's such a great fish. But that crust does, does you know, sets off a wonderful. Josh, what do you reckon? Oh, I love that the contrast between the crust and the fish. It's it's fantastic. Matthew. Well, while are you eating? I was just listening to these, mm, mm, <laughs> like, which I can only echo. So. <laughs> A triumph. Good. Thank you. To make Angela's hake with romesco crust, you'll need a jar of roasted red peppers and some skinned salted almonds, both available from Spanish delis and online. You'll also need some hake portions with the skin left on, fresh rosemary, garlic and courgettes. Finally, you'll need some olive oil and some white breadcrumbs.